Hey folks, welcome to another tutorial video on World Paints Gaming Den. Uh, today we'll be looking at how to play uh, Four Seasons. Uh, this is a two-player game published by Pegasus Spiel, or this version that I have is by uh, Pegasus Spiel. Uh, it is uh, designed by Team Cyan. Uh, as the name might suggest, it's not one designer, it's actually a group of designers based out of Japan, uh, and they've done a few other games. So we'll be having a look at this, uh, we'll start with the setup, and then we'll move into uh, how a uh, uh, turn might look like and what the rules are. It's a quick and easy game, uh, works well, so let's go to the table and let's see uh, how it plays. All right, so let's start by looking, uh, taking a look at what comes in the box. Uh, so here we have the four season markers laid out. Uh, these are laid out in sequence of the season themselves, uh, but from a gameplay perspective, uh, as long as they're out there, uh, the sequencing is not quite as, quite as relevant, but it would be nice to have them out. Uh, in the order uh, that was intended. Uh, the game comes with a set of cards uh, in values of 3, 2, and 1. Uh, 2 is sort of like uh, uh, the card that has the most number uh, in the deck, followed by 1, uh, and there's uh, the least number uh, belongs to 3. Uh, each of these cards come uh, in different seasons, so you have uh, uh, the yellow, which corresponds to this particular season, red, which corresponds to this, green, which corresponds to this, and then blue, which corresponds to this. Uh, so when you're setting the game up, you will take all the different cards by their denominations, not by the color. You'll put them together, uh, give them a shuffle. Uh, then we will be setting these out in a certain order, starting with uh, the card that is numbered one. Uh, you're supposed to make eight stacks of these, so we'll do that very quickly. Once we're done with that, we'll take the deck for uh, the number uh, two value cards and we'll uh, again split them out between the eight stacks. And the reason I'm doing it like this is because that's uh, also a decent way to make sure that uh, it is somewhat randomized and shuffled uh, instead of putting them in the deck uh, together. Uh, then take the three value cards and same thing. You'll uh, put them in each of their corresponding stacks. Now, once we're done with these, uh, they should be thoroughly uh, uh, randomized by this point. You will take any two decks without looking at the cards within it and uh, you will discard it. Uh, so these cards are now out of the game and will no longer be used. We'll be playing with the remaining six decks. When you have the six decks, randomly pick three, uh, lay one on top of another, uh, and each one of you can now take that deck for yourselves. This is gonna be your starting deck for the game. Uh, and this is basically the set of cards you'll be playing with. Uh, to start off, you will take eight cards into your hand So I've taken eight cards into my hand. My opponent will also take eight cards into their hand uh, and the game is ready to start. The game takes place over nine rounds uh, and over the course of your turn, the interesting thing about this game is you don't really decide, uh, you don't really play the cards that you have in your hand, but rather you're holding the cards that your opponent will play and your opponent is holding the cards that you will play. So a turn order works very simply. Uh, you will pick any two cards out of your hand uh, and you will uh, for the start of the game have uh, eight so let's say I picked these two and I will pass it on to my opponent once my opponent gets the card they will take it and they will now need to play these two cards out here so before we look at playing the cards out let's just have a look at how the play area is divided up uh, there are three sections uh, to consider one is cards that are placed uh, with uh, these tokens themselves this is basically what will denote uh, the value of each of the seasons once a player has won it. Uh, the other area will be in front of each of the individual players. This will denote the influence that player has in a specific season. So on your turn, when you get the two cards uh, that you need to play out, you will take a look at the two cards uh, and you will need to play them out. One will go over here and the other one will go in your influence areas. So you're always playing one card for points and the other card for influence. 
So in this particular case, I may choose to play two for points. So I'll put this here, and then I may choose, uh, well, I will have to play the two for influence. I can never play both the cards for points or both the cards for influence. They must always be split up, and they must always go to the corresponding season. So I could not place the red season card uh, here, for example, because blue is not uh, the matching color. Once I've played this, what this basically means is whoever now wins the season uh, will score the points for this. And for scoring for red, I have an influence of two that goes towards it. Uh, this will make a little bit more sense uh, once we look at what an end game situation could look like. So with that, once you're done uh, sort of like, you know, passing your hand to your opponent and your opponent uh, has played, uh, you basically draw back two cards. This will continue uh, until obviously at some point you run out of the deck over here and then at which point you will keep giving out the cards with the ones that you have in your hand uh, until you run out of them. Once you've run out of all the cards, uh, the game will at that point end and a scoring will take place. So with that, uh, let's have a look at what an end game state could look like uh, and we'll talk about how scoring works. All right, folks, so here we have a possible end state uh, laid out and we'll have a quick look at how scoring works. Uh, uh, you will score for each of the seasons. Uh, you will start off by looking at who has the most influence for uh, each of these seasons and that player will score the points that are laid out at the center. So if you remember, this is where the points are, this is where the influence is. So starting off with uh, uh, the blue season, uh, winter, uh, you can see that I do not have an influence that's been played out over here, whereas my opponent uh, definitely has uh, quite a bit. Uh, so they will score the seven points outright. Uh, with the red, I definitely have a lot more influence uh, than my opponent. Uh, when counting influence, uh, you really want to just add up the value uh, that's printed on the cards. So uh, a single three card is equally good uh, as a two value card and a one value card together. Uh, so there is there is no discrimination there. Uh, so I will score for this particular season uh, all the seven points. So at this point, both of us are tied. Uh, but obviously when we move on to yellow, we can see that my opponent has a lot more influence than I do. Uh, so they will score these eight points uh, for summer as well. Uh, with green, we can see an example of where there might be a potential tie. So in this particular case, my opponent has five influence uh, and I have five influence as well. Uh, so in instances where both players are tied for influence for a season, uh, there is no tiebreaker. Effectively, what will happen is neither player scores in that particular scenario. So none of us, neither one of us, uh, are going to get points for uh, uh, all of these uh, different cards laid out over here. So there's basically five, uh, seven, eight, eight points uh, that nobody's scoring. So once we've scored for this, obviously I get seven points. My opponent has 15 with these two added together. Uh, and my opponent has won this match. Uh, in instances where you're tied uh, for points uh, between the two players, uh, if any one player has won more seasons than their opponent, they will win. So the number of seasons can be a tiebreaker in that scenario. But if you're still tied for the number of seasons won, uh, so if both players have won either one season each or two seasons each, uh, then uh, the game is basically a draw at that point. Uh, I'll point out a couple of other items at this stage. Uh, well, one uh, other item rather. Uh, there is at the end of the rule book a variant that's uh, uh, recommended that you may want to try out. Uh, because turn order never really changes over the course of the game, you're basically going back and forth between the two players, taking actions, giving out cards. Uh, if you feel that there might be uh, a first player or first mover advantage, uh, or disadvantage, uh, you could play two back-to-back -back games uh, to even that out. So each player gets to start, be the start player uh, for uh, one of them. Uh, I did not feel in my place that uh, that advantage is strong, uh, but something for you to consider if it's of interest to you. Uh, and with that, I think we've gone through all the rules. So let's quickly go back uh, to the table uh, with first and final comments and words. All right, folks, so that was uh, the setup and the rules for four seasons. Uh, as I've mentioned, it's obviously a two player only game. Uh, it plays fairly fast. Uh, the box says uh, the game length is between 15 to 30 minutes. Uh, I'll say that that's fairly accurate uh, in the couple of playthroughs I've had. Uh, it actually runs through quite fast. Uh, and I was actually able to get my first game uh, done in well within 30 minutes. So it is fairly accurate. 
Uh, it is quite an intuitive little uh, game. There's not a lot of components in here. It's a, a easy card setup. It, it makes a, a fairly convenient travel game. You can just have the sort of like set of cards. Uh, you probably don't even need the tokens uh, if you sort of like you're not looking to carry it uh, light and easy. So uh, give it a go if you have the game. Uh, I would definitely recommend uh, a playthrough. It's it's worth trying out, especially if you're looking for something that's a, a light and easy two-player game. So with that. Uh, thank you for watching, uh, and I will see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Bye.